Thank you for joining us at Hope Lutheran Church for Worship Online. We are so glad that you have joined us to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on this All Saints Day. And if you could do us a favor and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, helps us reach more people with that good news of Jesus Christ. Pastor Carl, how are you? I'm doing great. I really am doing great. All right, excellent. You made it through Halloween all right? Made it through Halloween. Any trunk? <laughs> Any trick-or-treaters? No, no trick-or-treaters, <laughs> okay. but I, I stayed away from the candy. Oh, good for you. I, I did good this year. Good for you, and you didn't have too many beer and brats uh, last week. Just one. I, I had two. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. We had such a great time celebrating the Reformation. Uh, you, you know, and I had two brats, and then I had a bunch of candy. I think it, I, Thanksgiving's coming up. I need to go on a diet. Uh, you probably I, do. I need to figure out what you're doing. It was, it was a great weekend. Yeah. In fact, just absolutely spectacular. That's right. And it is a great week. And once again, uh, we mentioned last week, but we also want to thank all of those of you who helped out with our trunk or treat, who brought in candy, served at trunk or treaters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys made an impact for those kids. So really a wonderful time. And, and everybody who helped with the beer and brats on Sunday. Exactly the right. Polka, polka mass. <laughs> yes. Yes. And thank you for being here, joining us and helping us make a difference in our community and in our world for Jesus. Jesus. And if you would like to help contribute to help us reach more people with the good news of Jesus Christ, a couple ways you can do so. One, you can mail in an offering to Hope Lutheran Church at 45900 Portola Avenue in Palm Desert, California, 92360. Yeah. yeah, you can text to give 84321. Yep, and you can go to hopepd.org. There you'll find all of the incredible things that are happening right here at Hope. So go to hopepd.org today and find out how you can be more plugged in right here at Hope. And if you're looking for a way to kind of expand your, your knowledge of the Bible, to dive into Scripture, oh. We're starting a Zoom Bible study uh, tomorrow, so that will be on uh, at six, uh, or it will be November six at eleven uh, a.m. Pacific time. So eleven a.m. Pacific time, you can join us on Zoom. Just go to hopepd.org. There you'll find the link, and you can join us. We have a great time. We get off track. We're going through the Book of Matthew, which might take us three years because we spend a lot of time in it, right? And don't forget. Pacific Standard Daylight Savings Time That's goes right. into effect on the Sunday. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> my Sunday. goodness. So we're flying back an hour. Yeah, we get to so. fall back. We get to save an extra hour of sleep. So you guys should be well rested to worship our Lord and Savior. All right, and I think we should worship him right now. Let's do it. Our reading for today comes from 1 John, the third chapter. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. The word of the Lord Thanks be to God. And let us pray. Gracious God, may the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing to you this day, O Lord. Amen. Well, as we mentioned, today is All Saints Day, the day in the church year in which we remember all the faithful people that have touched our lives and have died and now wait for us in the heavenly kingdom to come. And it's right and good to give thanks and praise to God for their lives, for the way they have shown us what it means to love, what it looks like to forgive, and have inspired our faith. For some of us today is the day we remember a husband or wife, a brother or sister, a father or mother, and for some, a son or daughter. And we come to hear the promise that not even death can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus and celebrate that they are living in the near presence of God. But All Saints Day is not just about the past. It's also about the present, the here and now, as well as the future, about a what awaits each of us. We are reminded once again that in Christ, the death that awaits us all is not the end. That through the cruci crucifixion of, and resurrection of Jesus, death has been defeated and we are promised eternal life with all the saints. 
which is why I love this message from 1 John in our reading today. To better understand what the author of 1 John is trying to convey, it helps to know a little bit of background. While we're not sure who the author was of this letter, we do know that it was a letter written to a church in Ephesus sometime between the years of 95 and 110 AD. Now that's important because it would mean the letter was written right about the time of a significant Roman emperor named Domitian and the time at which he was assassinated. Now Domitian was a particularly cruel leader. He killed his brother and then initiated what is known as the second great persecution against the Christians. He commanded that all the lineage of David be put to death. And to him that included anyone who called themselves a follower of Jesus. They were rounded up, brought before a magistrate and commanded to declare that Caesar is Lord, Savior and God. If they refused, they were killed, and not just killed, but tortured by being boiled alive, flayed, dismembered, and crucified. And in the center of Ephesus, where it could be seen from the entire region, was the Temple of Domitian, which housed a 30-foot statue of the emperor. The columns that supported the podium of the statue were hand-carved representations of the various deities. This was done to declare that Domitian was supported by all the world's gods and that he was the culmination of all deity, the final Lord of heaven and earth, the God of all gods. So you get a better understanding of what the people who first heard this letter were thinking. The recent past had been full of tragedy and death, they, and they were reminded of this on a daily basis. The Temple of Domitian was meant to be a reminder of who was in charge, who had the power, and who defined you. And now, with a new Emperor Nerva, who served under Nero, they didn't know where they stood in the present. Would they continue to be defined as enemies of Rome, outcasts, and the source of all the world's problems? And it was almost impossible to see the future with any glimmer of hope. What did the future hold for them? Then they hear these words that address the past, the present, and the future. See what love the Father has given us. Yes, the past was difficult, but don't forget that in the midst of the darkness, God gave us a Savior in Jesus Christ who died on the cross and rose from the grave. God took care of us in the past. And because God took care of us in the past, our present is set. That we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. Beloved, we are God's children now. Notice that it's not about working to become God's children. Nor is it questionable that you might become God's children. Because of Jesus, you are God's child right now. Today, at this very moment. Because of this, our admittance into the company of saints is certain. Our future is secure. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. Even though we do not know what tomorrow will bring, we have no reason to fear. Even though we cannot fully comprehend what life after death looks like, we can rest our hope on the promise that we will see Jesus as he is, full of love, grace, and life. This is what All Saints Day is all about. Some of us are stuck in our past, unable to move on from the mistakes and tragedies, believing that they define our present and our future. The good news reminds us that what defines us is the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Others cannot see beyond their current situation, believing that they are stuck with no way out, that our identity is nothing more than a label that the world and society has placed on us. The Word of God tells us that our identity is in Christ, that we are God's children now. And as God's child, you are worthy, you are important, 
and you are loved. And for many of us, it's difficult to look at the future with any hope. We fear what will happen with the war in Israel and Ukraine. We fear our next visit to the doctor's office or what will happen to our children. God wants us to be assured that the future God has in store for us is greater than anything we could ever ask for or imagine. And nothing we could ever face in life can change that. Because of Jesus, you are a saint worthy of God's love. Your future is greater than your past. And when you trust that this is true, then it makes all the difference in your life, the way you live life now. It opens your eyes to the fact that your future is secure. So begin living your life as a saint today. Your past has been taken care of through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And you are now a child of God and will be with Jesus forever. Thanks be to God. Amen. And let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks that through Jesus you have redeemed our past, made our present identity as children of you now, and that our future with you forever is certain. Lord, we give you thanks for the saints that have gone before us and fill us with the Spirit reminding us that we are saints today so that we, we may go out and make a difference for you. All this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now let's sing together. Let us confess our holy Christian faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And it being All Saints Day, we are going to pray for the saints who have gone before us. So let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for the lives of those who have gone before us and now rest in your near presence. We thank you for the way they touched our lives and inspired our faith. And now we name to you those who have died in the last year and rest in your presence. Harry Baker. 
Babette Baron. Marlis Botts. Garth Brunt. Sharon Burke. Terry Baum. Larry Collette. Marilyn Devalon. Arlene Anderson. Lorraine Fair. Annis Giannini. Jim Hen Hancock. Terry Ibison. Ernie Johnson. Earl Link. Leo Lohman. Johnny Lujak. Elaine McFarlane. Donna McQuillan. Carl Miller. Richard Motler. Leslie Mueller. Ron Mueller. Barbara Musker. Jurgen. Judy Muskerd. Nolan Ellis. Iona Oshner. Mark Odin. Dale Pantaleaf. Walter Rahm. Millie Ror Rorick. Jim Schaefer. Joe Schilling. Tom Seaforth. Bill Schulich. Keith Scharf. Susie Southern. Clyde Thorne. Harry Torrey. Carol Turner. Heather Tatis. And we pray for those whom we now pray silently in our hearts. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the promise of eternal life. And we give you thanks for those lives who now rest with you. Fill us with the sure and certain hope that we too will live with you in that heavenly kingdom to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. And now let us prepare our hearts to receive the Lord's Supper. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you for everlasting life. This is the blood of Christ shed for you for everlasting life. And now may the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before you go on this All Saints Day, living your life out as a saint, if you will like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, it helps us reach more people with that good news that they too are now beloved children of God. So receive the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant to you his everlasting peace. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. 
Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, living as a saint. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.